Blackthorn Events lets you use your Salesforce investment to manage all of your events, in person and virtual. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to use our solution to plan, run, and report on your virtual events in Salesforce. If you've used third-party virtual event tools before, you know the headache they can cause with your event and attendee data living outside of Salesforce. With Blackthorn Events, you don't need to worry about importing or exporting reports from Zoom or GoToWebinar, or deal with clunky integrations. Everything is logged directly into Salesforce, so your data remains clean and organized. Our integrations with popular streaming tools eliminate hours of time spent on virtual event logistics, so you can spend more time creating engaging virtual experiences. Contact and attendee data is tracked directly into Salesforce, giving you greater insight into your virtual events and allowing your attendees to take the next post-event steps faster. So let's see how it works. Start in the Blackthorn Events app and click the New button. As you can see, one of the options is Virtual Event. Let's click on this and fill out some info. Next, under the Webinar and Meeting account, you can sync your existing Zoom, WebEx, and go to meeting accounts to create virtual events directly from within Salesforce. To do so, navigate to the App Launcher and search Webinar Accounts. Press the New button and then give the account a name and select your provider. The rest of the information will be automatically populated when you authorize your account. Click Save and then click the Authorize button in the drop-down on the top right. This will bring you to your provider's sign-in page where you can sign in, authorize the account, and connect it directly to Blackthorn Events. If you prefer not to connect your account to Blackthorn Events, you can simply paste the pre-created meeting link or streaming URL in the box below from solutions like YouTube, Vimeo, Adobe Connect, BlueJeans, and much more. Great! Now that we've created our event, I went ahead and added a few things. We now have a couple of attendees, an updated description, and a free ticket for this demonstration. When we created this event, Blackthorn Events automatically generated a URL for the landing page, which you can find here. Let's click on it and take a look. Here, you can see your event landing page. You'll see the image that you can place in the image URL field and all the other information that we laid out when creating this event. This page is exactly what your registrants will see when they go to register for this event. Going back into Salesforce, you can automate emails to send out to invite individuals who might be interested in this event. Here is an example of an email that can be sent from our brand new email builder update coming in late 2020. With an easy to use drag and drop editor, you'll be able to build custom emails for all of your virtual events without having to know HTML or CSS. From this email, they'll be able to click on a link and go to the event landing page that we looked at a moment ago. Let's go ahead and register for this event. There are a number of ways to invite attendees to an event and have them register. The most common way is to share your event URL via your website or an email blast and have individuals sign up through the event landing page. New attendees generate an attendee record that can relate to a new lead. If your invitee is already in your Salesforce contact database, Blackthorn sends unique URLs, called attendee links, in the invite emails, allowing the individual to simply click the Yes button at the top. By clicking this button, they'll be automatically brought to the checkout page where all their information is pre-populated. This is just one of the ways that Blackthorn Events makes event management easier. Once registered, let's go back into the Salesforce attendee list and refresh it. As you can see, our new attendee appeared here and is marked as registered. The attendee will also receive a confirmation email in their inbox as well. They can click on the meeting link when the event is supposed to start and they'll be brought to a page to join the video stream. If they access the page after the event has occurred, they can watch a recording of the event as well. One of the benefits of using Blackthorn events for virtual events is that once an individual joins that meeting or stream, their attendee record in Salesforce automatically updates to attended. Want to learn more about Blackthorn events? Look us up on the App Exchange or find us online at blackthorn.io.